He's our baby. <laughs> we don't have children, and he is, uh, he's like our, our son, and we just would love him more than anything, and his, his care and his health is really, really important to us. I graduated with a bachelor's degree from Cornell University in 1984 and then finished veterinary school also at Cornell University in 1988. Subsequent to that, I did an internship at the University of Saskatchewan in Saskatoon and then I completed an, an oncology residency at Tufts University. My name is Eric Bulakowski. I'm a medical oncologist here at Michigan Veterinary Specialists. Um, I did a three-year residency at the New England Veterinary Oncology Group in Waltham, Massachusetts, and a one-year internship at the Veterinary Referral and Emergency Center in uh, Norwalk, Connecticut, and veterinary school was at Oklahoma State. I went to Michigan State University for veterinary school as well as for undergrad. Uh, I came to Michigan Veterinary Specialists for my internship program. This was when we were in our other location. Um, and then went back to Michigan State University for my residency program and came back to Michigan Veterinary Specialist. My name is Rhonda Jacobs. I have a Bachelor's of Science degree in um, Radiation Therapy. I also have an Applied Science degree from Michigan State in Animal Science. I came to um, Michigan Veterinary Specialist from the Human Side of Medicine. I did an internship at um, Foot Hospital in Jackson, Michigan. Radiation therapy is local therapy for local disease. It's very similar to surgery in that it can only treat what we are targeting. Uh, we utilize it in situations when surgery cannot be effective at removing the tumor in its entirety. For instance, a brain tumor or a nasal tumor where the surgeon cannot remove all the diseased tissue because of the anatomy and the normal structures that would be compromised. What radiation allows us to do is to treat the tumor within the patient. So in situations, for instance, when we have tumors that are located on the extremities, uh, such as the legs, we can treat that patient cure their cancer without having to do major procedures such as amputations. My name is Kieran Toy, Bruin House Rottweilers, and this is uh, Vixen. She was diagnosed with jaw cancer when she was about nine months old. They take excellent care of her here. She had about three weeks of radiation for, for the jaw cancer, and she has just made an unbelievable recovery from it. The only long-term effect is a slight white spot here under her chin and she has just recently this summer lost a fang and the tooth next to it. The level of care that she received, the ongoing interest in her, I, you can't fault it. I, it's just beyond belief what they can do here. I am not a full-time employee here at Michigan Veterinary Specialists. I have a practice in North Carolina and we do what's called remote treatment planning. Michigan Veterinary Specialists has a, a full complement of medical oncologists. I'm involved using various forms of technology including digital cameras, iPhones, and then we communicate with the doctors. We've worked with Dr. Russlander so long that we understand most of the, the actual procedural parts of the treatment and how many days they're going to need to be treated, um, roughly what type of planning is going to be necessary. Once a client is pretty sure that they want to go forward with radiation therapy, that's when we take the next step and really give Dr. Russlander a call. I'm able to look at the CT scans real time. I'm able to make recommendations about uh, treatment options, and then I'm able to do the computer plan in North Carolina send all the information here in Michigan and we have a dialogue back and forth in, again in real time while the patient is being set up and, and treated. As a medical oncologist here at MVS, I'm one of the doctors that helps to oversee the plans as far as total treatment of pets. So helping to coordinate treatments between the surgeons, between the radiation oncologists, but then also primarily giving things like chemotherapy or other medical treatments. As a medical oncologist, we are trained more in administration uh, of chemotherapy, uh, drawing up and administering and um, following up with chemotherapy treatments. Uh, we do work very closely with the radiation oncologist, uh, Dr. Russ Lander, to facilitate radiation treatments as well. 
My name is Dr. Ann Duncan. I'm the chief vet at the Detroit Zoo. Nibbles is a macaroni penguin that was about 23 years old when we diagnosed her problem. Nibbles developed a little wound on the side of her beak, just between the hard beak and the skin at the end of the year in 2009. And by early 2010, it developed into what looked like an actual mass. Melanomas are pretty aggressive tumors and they often metastasize to other areas of the body. Uh, we decided to start by removing as much of the tumor as we could surgically, and we did that up at MVS with Dr. Kerstetter. And then along with Dr. Eric Bolikowski, we developed a radiation plan for Nibbles. One of the things that makes Nibbles really special is that she's very, very friendly. She likes to interact with people, and so we thought she would be a perfect candidate for the trips to MVS for her radiation therapy. During the entire 16 years that I've been working in the Detroit Zoo, we've had help from the physicians and technicians at MVS. They've done ophthalmological work for us, dermatological work, surgery, all kinds of stuff, and we really appreciate the assistance that they've given us. Unlike chemotherapy, which goes everywhere in the body, radiation therapy stays localized. So it becomes extremely important when we're treating patients with radiation therapy that we do proper clinical staging to make sure that there is not disease outside of what we're treating with the radiation. If that were the case, then we would, we might still include radiation, but we would definitely need to include chemotherapy in the process as well. Basically, Dr. Russlander gives us the plan and then I um, implement the plan from there. It's like they come here for a play date, so we try to keep it really relaxed for them. We let them um, kind of run loose in our room. We try not to put them in cages if we, ha if we don't have to. The process of radiation therapy starts in the exam room when we have a conversation with the owner and can do a good physical exam on the patient so we understand the the extent of the disease and whether or not there's any other underlying problems with the dog or cat such as heart disease um, or other problems that may interfere with our delivery of radiation. From there when we do what we call staging to look at extent of disease we often will utilize radiology and will bring the patient to radiology for radiographs or x-rays we also can do abdominal ultrasounds, ultrasonography to look at masses that may be in the abdomen. And then currently we have uh, MRI and CT facilities where we can do advanced imaging on those patients. Once we get all that information, then we use the computer planning to develop a treatment plan for that patient based upon all those factors that we identified up to that point. The actual radiation therapy is delivered in, in the, the linear accelerator vault. These are rooms that have three foot thick concrete walls so that the radiation therapy stays within the room. At Michigan Veterinary Specialists, what the radiation therapist does is um, we implement the recording, the administration of the treatment, the emotional support for the clients, and we also um, manage the pet side effects. I love animals and I want to help owners and animals feel comfortable with um, their treatment options here. You have to feel comfortable with the decisions that you make and that's what I'm here for is to help you make the decisions and to choose the right path for your pet. Radiation protocols are best delivered on a daily basis to allow accumulation of radiation dose and maximize the dose to the tumor. Um, unfortunately, it does require coming back and forth every day. We do offer boarding. They can drop off at the beginning of the day and pick up at the end of the day. They can drop off for the whole month for some of our clients that are in Canada. Really, it's whatever's going to work best for them so that we can help make this happen. My name is Karen Cross, and this is my pet, Corey. He's uh, six years old. He's a golden doodle. About a year ago, he had a tumor on his paw pad, and um, we, we had it removed, and it came back exactly almost a year later. I was very unfamiliar with radiation therapy for dogs and didn't know that that was an option. Within probably less than a week after his last uh, treatment it started healing and it was just kind of amazing actually. Corey was treated so wonderfully. We saw Rhonda every day. <laughs> they actually not only treated him but me as well. 
we're able to do a lot of the very same treatments that they do in people. Some of the chemotherapy, it's the exact same as drugs that they do in people, the radiation therapy as well, it's the same type of unit that they use in people. Um, and so we're able to tailor things, really taking some of the same information that they have on the human side and tailoring it more to the veterinary patients. I've been involved in medical oncology and radiation oncology for almost 20 years. And over that time, we moved from when we didn't have radiation therapy in a lot of facilities to where we have radiation facilities in most major hospitals around the country. And it really has changed how we treat patients with, with cancer. It's <laughs> funny to see how, you know, you see so much of our, each other in him and um, we'd do anything for him.